Today we're going to work on finishing up the floor, get the floor cut, piece cut and put in, and work on getting the kick panel put back together. So we'll get started on that. I, uh, I'm also going to do a, do a quick review on this uh, Harbor Freight Titanium uh, welding helmet that I got for my uh, birthday. So we'll see if this helps. out of the kick panel. I've got to get clear up to here. So I'm going to come along here and then along here.
They sure make it look easy on YouTube how to get these spot welds broke. So I've got that cut out some more. I think I'll go on the outside now and start cutting away the rust. Still not sure if I'm going to put a patch in right here. We'll have to see.
Seems like one problem to another. Get the vacuum and suck that up. Okay. So I got another tool that we're going to use. I got a handheld sandblaster. So let's grab that and see how that does.
Okay, here's the new tool. Really? I got the wrong connector. Hang on. Okay, here's the new sandblaster. Got the right fitting. Let's see what happens. Well, I can't use this with you guys. I'll get the lens all filled with sand and then we will be in trouble. So I'll be back after I get it done. All right, that does okay, but it uses a lot of sand and it's really messy. So I'm just gonna leave it at that for now. Spray some uh, rust repair in there and uh, then start making the new part. Yeah, that sandblaster's messy. So, what I need to do is decide what to do here. I think I'll take the grinder to that and then spray it with some rust prohibitive stuff that I got. But I think it looks pretty good get my uh, piece of metal in here and get it marked and uh, I think I'll close this in first yeah I think that's what I'll do sorry about the light all right let me round up some metal side of this box come down because I know I'm long so from we start here and we draw draw and then go over And then can't hold it. Okay. Okay, Let's see how this piece matches up.
That's right off the line of the piece. Can you guys see? Got my big fat head in the way. Okay, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. So the key point, the key points are right here. So Okay, that's the, the key points. So let's cut this.
Okay. Okay, let's go cut it out. Okay. I've got it drawn out. I think I'm going to cut it big and then use the sander and just kind of creep up on it to get the perfect fit. So, I'm going to get I'm not going to bore you with cutting it, but I'll show you as I fit it. Okay, I got the basic shape cut out. Now I'm just going to start fitting it and trying to grind down to these lines. You can see, I'll set you up over here. Okay, I'm going to start my review of the tight titanium welding helmet from Harbor Freight. Let you know how it works.
Okay, so the review on the helmet. I love it. Uh, the optics are better. You can see where you're welding when it lightens up. It's quick. It's comfortable. Uh, so I would definitely recommend it. If you're a beginner welder or even if you're an experienced welder. Let's see if I can get the... There it is. It's Harbor Freight. That's the number, and it makes a huge difference. Huge difference. So, the other key thing is make sure your welder's set right. Make sure your I I have mine set at about 10 psi, I guess, and it sure worked a lot better once I figured out the gas wasn't on. So I can only take about so much welding in one day, so I think I'm going to call it good here, but welding helmet's a success. I'd recommend it.